Chapter 1 Sentence Construction What is a sentence? A group of words that make a complete sense is called a sentence. But these old views are defective in two points. First, a sentence may be single-worded or multi-worded in a given context. In modern grammar, single-word sentences and verbless sentences are acceptable. Examples Teacher Have you done your home task? is a multi-word sentence. Student Yes is a single-word sentence. Teacher All right is a verbless sentence. Some other sentences with verb and without verb side by side. Sentence with verb What's your name? Sentence without verb Name please. Sentence with verb Please show me your ticket. Sentence without verb Ticket please. Sentence with verb What's the time now? Sentence without verb. Time, please. Sentence with verb. It is just five past ten. Sentence without verb. Just five past ten. Sentence with verb. How much is that book? Sentence without verb. How much for that book? Second. A sentence may not sometimes convey a complete sense as a sentence may be extended from a short one to a bigger one by left branching or and right branching. Examples A man is taking rest. Key sentence A tired man is taking rest. A fat and tired man is taking rest. Left branching. A fat and tired man is taking rest under a tree. A fat and tired man is taking rest under a tree by the side of a road. Right branching. Hence, we should modify the definition of a sentence as below. A word or a group of words having a clear meaning in a given context is called a sentence. For such clear meaning, a multi-word sentence must have a proper order of words. Not a sentence for a proper order of words. Sentence for proper order of words. Goes he to school is not proper order. He goes to school is proper order. Fat man thus slowly walks is not proper order. The fat man walks slowly is proper order. The beggar a rupee give is not proper order. Give the beggar a rupee is proper order. A sentence must have a proper order of words and a clear meaning. Formation of sentences. Sentence, single worded or multi worded. Single worded like come, go, stop, wait, etc. Multi worded are with verbs and verbless. With verbs, who is there? Verbless, Mr. Ghosh. With verb, have you got any ticket of the cricket match? Verbless? Not at all. With verb? Will you take any? Verbless? Why not? With verb? I am going now. Verbless? Where to? With verb? Will you accompany me? Verbless? What for? With verbs? Where are you going now? Verbless, to see a cricket match. 
subject and predicate. A multi-word sentence with a verb may be divided into two parts. Sentence, subject or noun part, NP, predicate or verb part, BP. Subject or noun part is about whom or what we are speaking. Predicate or verb part is what is said about the subject. 1. The part which names the person or thing we are speaking about is called the subject of the sentence. 2. The part which tells something about the subject is called the predicate of the sentence. Subject or noun part. The subject part of the sentence consists of nouns, pronouns or adjectives. Predicate or verb part. The predicate part of the sentence consists of finite verbs, objects or complements, adverbials and modifiers. The boy got the prize. The boy is the subject. Got the prize is the predicate. The intelligent boy got the prize for standing first in the exam. The intelligent boy is the subject. Got the prize for standing first in the exam is the predicate. Sometimes the whole predicate or a part of the predicate is placed before the subject for the sake of emphasis. Examples those days are gone. Gone are those days. Gone are, the predicate, is placed in front of the subject, those days. The uses of adversity are sweet. Sweet are the uses of adversity. The predicate, sweet are, is placed in front of the subject, the uses of adversity. Note. Sometimes the subject may be understood. Thank you. Here the subject, I, is understood. In almost all imperative sentences, the subject is understood. Sit down. Here the subject, you, is understood. In exclamatory sentences, the subject and a part of the predicate can be understood. Well done. That was well done. That was is understood here. No more of that means let us have no more of that. Here, let us have is understood. Subscribe to my channel. Click on bell icon to get notification about new videos.